Looks like this is going to be another video facing the west. This is my second film of the evening. As you can see right here, the name of this cemetery is called Wildwood Cemetery. And the reason why I decided to try to find this one is because there are no records of this cemetery at all. And a lot of the graves out here are unmarked. So some of them don't even have names, they just have stones. At one point, this whole thing was underwater. You can see water over there and you can see water over there. I do not know the year, but uh, the Boy Scouts of America came in here and they diverted the water and uh, gave access to the cemetery. Now most of the graves that are in here, um, and you can go to a website called Find a Grave, and uh, these people are pretty good. They go around and they take pictures of actual tombstones to assist with uh, those that like to do genealogy and locate ancient ancestors and such. But uh, they go out and take pictures of these headstones. And I was looking at one of their websites and basically it looks like mm, I think 75 to 80% of those that are buried here are children. So I only saw three adults and I think there's only maybe 18 graves out here. So, and nobody recent. Nobody knows who these people are as far as what region they came from. But here we go. This is another marker. So we're talking 1893 to 1905. So you can see by that date alone, some most of these are going to be young. Looks like there's a fallen tombstone right here. And that one's so heavy, I'm not even going to be able to pick that up. Maybe that just was the indicator that this was the cemetery. But I figured this is going to be another one that's not tended. Here's one. And I know I'm doing a lot of a lot of tomb or a lot of cemeteries, but Come on guys, this stuff is wild west, man. This is this is really cool stuff. She was one. Boy, with this tall grass, these are gonna be even harder to spot than the ones that were in the forest. Okay, this one may be on the other side here. No. Okay, it's way down here. Okay, this is one of the adults, 1854 to 1901. So there's only this is one of three adults confirmed. I've got the sun glare. I don't know if you could see that very well. Get down here a little closer. But that setting sun looks really good right there by that tree, man. That's a good shot. Here's another adult. Get this plant out of the way so you can get a good view there. Last name is Miles. Now, as often the case, some of these are just a simple stone. At least that's what I was reading. So I'll just see what I can find or what I can't find. Well, this grass is getting tall. Ooh, that's a soft spot. This is a good place for a rattlesnake. Hmm. Okay. Kind of figured by this big old tree would be a spot. 
A lot of times people like to do that. Something big just took off right through there. About pissed my pants. It's probably a rabbit. Okay, I see a tombstone over there. Hmm. Coming through, Briar Rabbit. Almost walked right into this lady. Look at her. Another golden orb weaver, guys. That's what those are called. Okay, so they marked off where this one's at. That's kind of interesting. I wonder why. The other ones weren't done that way. Okay, there's a teeny tiny one right there. Maybe that's why. Just to let you know there's more than... Okay, so this one here has just got an E and an M. Oh. Look at this. This is all from one family. Wow, that's really depressing. Let's just see if you can read that. There you go, 1899 to 1902, 1895 to 1902. They died the same year. Wonder if it was some kind of illness. There's another, I just vaguely saw it. Let me see if I can see it again. There it is, right here in front of me. There you go. Another little. So basically, they're marked as individuals and then they've got a main, main headstone here marking them all. So I must be standing on the actual plot. There should be a few more. Come back here all the way to the back and see. This is really dangerous type of territory here. Even cattle are hesitant to walk through grass like this. Okay. There's a pipe here. Give me a little bit of leverage if I stand up on it. The short people need all the help we can get. That's really looking like that's it. Huh. So the other ones must be lost out here somewhere, which isn't unimaginable. I kind of want to know how they figured out these stones were even here, unless it just happened to be a low water year and they figured it out. I was hoping for at least a dozen or so. But I can guarantee this is one that <laughs> not a whole lot of people know about. It's probably, let me think. 
10 miles southwest of Enid. Just gonna walk right down through here, this middle part close to this tree, just to see if there's any more that might turn up that I'm missing. And then we're gonna make our way back to the vehicle. There's a trail right here. Well, I'm missing one adult for sure. And there's supposed to be one that's completely unmarked with just a stone. It's just a stone and a couple more children. Maybe after a good frost. Knock back a lot of this vegetation. Maybe I need to start saying this stuff at the beginning, but I mean, guys, if you like this stuff, spread me around. Give me a like, make some comments. Another look at that one there. I really like the way that stone looks. I hope you guys have a good evening. And thanks for joining me on this little adventure. It was a short one, but Another good shot at that sunset. You guys have a good evening.